Hey boys, I'm back with uh, the New Zealand Warriors, so let's get straight into this, shall we? And before I get into the lineup, let's just uh, say the big news straight away. So Sam Tompkins, he's gone. Tulvas check in, which we knew about for a while now. But the time I'm recording this video, pretty much just broke that Isaac Luke is now signed with the Warriors. And that is massive news, like honestly. Like, I look at the, the Warriors team right now, and I think that's an amazing team. You chuck out Tompkins, two of us check in. You chuck out Lulululai, Isaac Lukin. Now, that's that's a team that is, like, unstoppable. Holy shit. Like, you just you, you just wonder how... How are Warriors not going to be, like, the team to beat next year? How are they not going to be, like, a top four side for the next the next decade with a side like this like I don't know man maybe traveling really does affect them that much but it's crazy they their team next year is gonna be unbelievable but yeah let's let's get this underway so Tompkins I mean he's gone I don't know 92 though is way too high I mean maybe you know we saw what he, he's got a bit of potential right he played pretty good in the Super League but honestly I feel like 92 is way too high. I mean, he had... He sort of gave up on the NRL. You know, he had a hard year. I don't know how long he's been here. I think he's only been here a year. He's gone back home. You know, I don't blame him. I mean... If he misses home and stuff like that. But he had a chance to, like, show why he's rated, like, the best fullback in England. But, you know, he didn't live up to expectations. So, 92, way too high. Should be lower. Then we got Lola here. 86. Honestly, haven't seen too much of Lola here. I feel like that's maybe a touch high though, but can't really comment. We'll just leave it at that. Probably too high though. Then we got Solomon Carter. 64 is too low. Haven't seen, like again, not, not seen too much of this guy, but I've seen a few games and he's... He's quite devastating, honestly. He's a bit... He's... Actually, he's not really like Harrell at all, honestly. He's sort of... He's he's built a bit like Harrell. He's a bit smaller, though, and he's a bit more agile. He's quick and... Got a bit more footwork, but he, he still can run over blokes. He's... I don't know. He's probably only like 20, 21. I mean, the Warriors have so many young, talented kids coming through, but... Yeah, Carter should be higher. Probably like high 70s, 80s. Not high 80s, like low 80s, high 70s. You know, he's still got to prove himself, but got a lot of potential. Conrad Harrell, 83. You know, on his good days, you would say this is way too low, but on his bad days, you'd say it's too high. So, I'd say that's pretty accurate. You know, he's, again, he's, he's one with so much potential. He's got, for such a big, strong man, he's got so much speed. Like, if he makes a break... Good luck trying to catch him. Like, he doesn't look like he's going to be that fast, but he's just... He just motors. But then he just has games where he just... I don't know. He he just loses focus, or he doesn't he doesn't show up. Uh, so, yeah, if he, doesn't, if he can just get his consistency sorted out, he's going to be a great center, but he's just got to find it. Then we got Manu Vatavai. He's... Honestly, he's a bit like Conrad Harrell. He's so hot and cold, Manu. I mean, you can always rely on him to be a good... A good... Another... Another hit up at the back there. I mean, having someone like Manu in your team is always going to be a bonus because... Whenever you're in trouble deep in your own end, give it to Manu. He's always going to give you 10 meters plus. But yeah, 84 is probably about right. You know, he has, he has some shocking games, honestly. But he does have some special ones, so. Chad Townsend's 84. Uh, I think that's a bit high, honestly. I think he's a fringe player. Actually, the, probably the team will happen. Lulu will go into the 5 8 role, and Isaac Lou will just slot into dummy half. I'm not sure if. Like, I don't know if they're going to keep Lulu and Ch uh, Ta Townsend, but. Next year, but. That's how I'd have the team. But Townsend, you know, he's been solid. He can steer the ship around a bit more than Johnson, which is nice. But, yeah. I don't think he's anything too special. 
he's a solid player. Probably, you know, probably a touch high. I'd have him like 80 at most. Then we got Sean Johnson. Now this is quite, uh, quite weird. 82 is extremely low. Like unbelievable. Like he won the golden, <laughs> he won the golden boot last year. Best player in the world. 82. I mean, yeah, his form this year, his form this year hasn't been that good. I mean, he showed, he showed in the New Zealand Australia game that, um, with a good, a good Haas partner that he can, who takes control like Foran did, he can just like play off the back of that and just play his natural game and he's so dangerous and his defense has come a long way. I just feel like 82 is so low. Like he should, honestly, he should be up with like, he should be a bit behind Cooper Cronk, so have him like high 80s, possibly 90. But yeah, I mean that's a bit, a bit silly. Then we got uh, Lillyman, 73. And considering the best props in the game have been like 82, 83, 84, possibly, I feel like this is a touch low still. You know, I wouldn't rate Lillyman one of the best front rowers, but he's solid. So I'd have him like mid 70s. Mid to high 70s, not much higher though. Then we got Lulu the Y, and you know, he's. I don't know, I've never never thought he was that good. He's pretty he's pretty fast and he's got a good good skills and stuff. I feel like 85 is a touch high though. I'd have him about 80. It's not too bad though. Then we got Ben Madalino, one of my favorite players in the game. Uh, I feel like he, like, like New Zealand have such good front rows. They have Jesse Bromwich, Ben Manolino, two that I would rate like possibly the best front rows in the game behind Matt Scott. So I think Manolino should be like 82, 83, just like the top front rowers rated in this game so far. So yeah, that's a bit low. Manolino is a beast. Then we got Boning Thompson, 78. I think that's about right, honestly. Like, Thompson, he's one of those guys that does the odd good thing. The odd good run with offload, the odd big hit, but he's not that consistently good. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have him any higher. But then we got Ryan Hoffman, apparently the same as Thompson. I feel like, you know, I, I feel like Hoffman's a touch overrated, but... He is a, he is like a New South Wales player. Um, I'd have him like mid high 80s. Hoffman, he's, you know, he's a really good back rower. He does all the hard work. He runs the hard lines. He does the big tackles. He'll go 80 minutes. Just yeah, just a solid player. Just a really good back rower. Uh, pretty much the same. Like Simon Mettering, Ryan Hoffman. Pretty pretty damn similar, honestly. So I don't have them both the same, about probably about mid high 80s. I feel like they're pretty similar players, really. Like I'm just going through this Warriors team and I'm just thinking, wow, it's it's pretty impressive. But then we got Nathan Friend 86, too high. Like I was a fan of Nathan Friend when he was at the Times. I thought he was, you know, he's a good player, good dummy half, but I, yeah. I think he's more of a fringe player now. I think he's dropped away a fair bit. Still a really good defender, you know. He'll if he starts, he'll get through like 50 tackles a game, that sort of thing. And but he doesn't he doesn't really threaten that much. He doesn't set up too many tries. But good dummy half. You, I mean, someone most teams would love to have, but probably can't. Probably can't quite afford. Like they probably most teams probably have a standout dummy half and. Would like to have someone like a Nathan Friend as backup, but it's pretty hard to balance that because you want your number one to stay on the field for the 80 minutes, but yeah. Good dummy half, I'd have him about 80, low 80s. Then we got Ben Henry, 82. You know, he, a lot of talk, a lot of talk about this kid, a lot of big talk that he was going to be an amazing player, and he hasn't, you know, he's had. I think he's the one that's had plenty of injuries, um, but he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of potential, like a lot of these Warriors do. He's a big, fast, 
back row or center. So 82 is probably about fair because he hasn't really, he hasn't really um, stuck, he hasn't really cemented a spot in the Warriors side. Uh, the next couple of years could define him really, if he's able to do that or not. But yeah. But then we got Sam Lassone. Honestly, I haven't seen too much. I don't know if he's in the side. Same with Albert Vette. Um, I'm trying to think. Was it Paz... Patel... Oh god, not even gonna... No, nah, not even gonna try it. Um, oh. I'm trying to, trying to find the guy. I don't think it was him. Was it Lamape? No. God, all these Warriors names. I'm trying to think, there was, I know there was, like, oh, Matangi, that's it. Matangi, that's, that's the guy that's, I know plays on the interchange, and he is an absolute standout. Not like, he's not like the best back roll going around, or front roll, but, he's powerful, like, he is, uh, he is that X Factor on the bench that the Warriors usually have, and he's, yeah, he's a devastating ball runner. Very powerful. 67, way too low. Should be like, I don't know, probably 80. About 80, I'd say. You know, he's not an 80-minute player, but those 10, 20-minute bursts that he goes on, he is pretty devastating. Um, but yeah, there's also Sam Rapira. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure Rapira would play probably on the interchange. And he's a good player. So yeah. Warriors have a lot of good players, honestly. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Warriors. Let's look at their jerseys. I like their... <laughs> their Heritage one is really... Really good. I haven't... That Women and Lee one's really awesome too. I, I've never even seen that. I mean... We don't really see many New Zealand games... On free-to-air television, so... That's probably why, but... Yeah, that's the Warriors done. Really good side. I'm... <laughs> This side is going to be so good next year, but yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.